Meanwhile, Georgia could be the latest state to ban vaccine passports. This afternoon, the Georgia House of Representatives approved a bill prohibiting government entities from requiring COVID vaccines. Fox 5's Claire Sims joins us live from the state capitol. And Claire, a little more than half of Georgians are fully vaccinated. Yeah, according to the latest data from the Georgia Department of Public Health released just after 2 o'clock this afternoon, 56% of Georgians are fully vaccinated, and Republicans say that is their choice to make. So make no mistake about it, if this proposal becomes law, there will be some Georgians, perhaps even in your own district, that will surely die. State Representative Billy Mitchell delivers the minority report on the House floor Tuesday as lawmakers debate a bill to ban what some call vaccine passports. Under the legislation, state agencies, county or city governments, and local school systems would not be allowed to require their staff nor the public they serve to be vaccinated against COVID-19. The fundamental responsibility of government is to protect its citizens. Here we are talking about eliminating a mandate for children who are attending schools no less when the, the vaccination is just being rolled out to that age group. But State Representative Bonnie Rich calls mandates political overreach and argues vaccination should be left up to each Georgian to decide for themselves. Vaccination for COVID 19, like all health care, is a personal, deliberate decision to be made by an individual. Representative Rich pointed to a couple of small metro Atlanta cities that required their staff to get vaccinated or participate in routine COVID testing. Of course, across the country and other jurisdictions, we are seeing it happening, and this bill is to just establish that in Georgia that is not going to happen. It's important to note, though, that there is a one year sunset because we understand that things can change rapidly. In the, in the midst of a pandemic. If passed, the law will expire after June 30th, 2023. Yeah, and Representative Rich matter, says matter. it would not stop the governor from mandating a vaccine as part of his emergency powers if needed. The House passed the bill largely along party lines, with just one Democrat voting in favor. On the passage of Senate Bill 345, the ayes are 99, the nays are 67. This bill having... Now, the House did make some changes to that legislation, so it will have to go back over to the Senate for their review and approval before it can go to the governor's desk. We are live at the state capitol. Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.